السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد Someone asked me about handout. Sorry, I did not prepare handout. Okay, maybe later I print what I have, uh, one card, and we can distribute, inshallah. Uh, the other question about the labor who are working. As we mentioned, uh, the scholars like Sheikh Mathiamin, Sheikh Mbaz, those who are working in um, something difficult. They are working in construction or uh, the bakers, okay, in front of the oven the whole day, okay, we tell them it is not allowed for you to break your fast. You have to intend fast, fasting, and you have to fast Ramadan. If you reach to a point that I cannot continue, okay, then eat or drink and make up these days later, inshallah. Okay, but intending not to fast from the night, this is haram. This is haram and not allowed. Yes. Yes. Mm. Four questions. Mm. What is the maximum limit for fidya? Maximum limit for fidya? I do not understand the question. <laughs> what uh. is the maximum limit for fidya? <coughs> fidya Allah, uh, Allah mentioned the fidya, I'm miskin. You feed a poor person. Maybe, maybe they ask how many can you uh, have together? How, yeah. If you miss the full Ramadan, you feed 30 people. And that keeps adding to the number of Ramadan you miss. So number of fasts you miss, and then fast you miss one miss. No, for, for, example, uh, for example, this pregnant woman missed this Ramadan. So uh, after Ramadan, we tell her to feed. To feed, not to wait until six, seven Ramadans. After this Ramadan, she has to feed. If she missed the previous period, what is the limit? If the... Okay, give now. Give the fidya now. If she, if the person missed the last Ramadan, he did not give the fidya, we tell him now, give the fidya. The missed fasting, fasting uh, the period, mm. cannot be completed before the next Ramadan, what is the reason? She missed uh, the uh, few days because of the period. And now she cannot make them up before the next Ramadan. We tell her, khalas, do what you can do now. And if still there are few days, do them after Ramadan. And no need to feed. Because some scholars said, if she, delay, if she delays after the next Ramadan, she has to make up and to, she has to feed. And the other opinion, like Sheikh Mahathim said, no, she has only to make up the days. No need to, to give fidya. In reciting the Quran, I should not finish my, my, uh, my khatma, okay? I should not complete my khatma. Because there is nothing, يعني, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the Prophet did not tell us to finish. This is something optional. This is something mustahab. When you read, you finish your khatma. But for example, people say, some people like, Ramadan is tomorrow. I, and I need, for example, 10 days to finish my khatma, okay? So should I finish my khatma, then I start a new khatma, okay? Yeah, and it is open. It is open for you, okay? But what you can do, you can start a new khatma and, fin and also continue the previous khatma. Yeah, and inshallah, there is no problem to, to do two khatma in Ramadan. This is the month of Quran. Okay? Uh. Mm. If the person for, 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 forgot how many days I miss, okay, we, we tell you, try to expect how many days you, you miss, then fast. No, 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 why, why, sorry, why he, he missed the days? Because of the period, for example, the woman? Huh? Why he did not fast? No, for the, the, the one who, did not, who missed fasting because of no reason, laziness, we tell him, the kafar is repentance. Sheikh Mahathameen mentioned and other scholars, the person who did not fast, for example, last Ramadan, he did not fast. Why? Laziness. 
okay. He, he said he commit a major sin. He should make repentance. And there is no making up these days. خلاص. Because he doesn't have an excuse. Okay. This is his punishment. We tell him, don't make up these days. You have to, to, do, you have to repent to Allah. And also, we tell him, we recommend him to fast the optional days. Every Monday, every Thursday. طيب. So we mentioned the second uh, the, the things which uh, invalidate your fasting, eating, drinking. Number two, the uh, the sexual intercourse. Number three, also Sheikh Muhammad and many scholars, most of the scholars said, uh, masturbation. Also, this will invalidate the the fasting. The the semen will invalidate by masturbation will invalidate your fasting. Tayyib. And this is also a sin. This is also a sin. This is a sin. But the Madi will not invalidate it. The semen is called many in Arabic. Okay? We mentioned when we explain the chapter of purity, we mentioned different, different things. There is something called many, and another thing called Madi, and the third one called Wadi. Many is semen. Many is semen. This usually comes when the, the man does the, uh, uh, the, the intercourse with his wife or the, uh, the wet dreams. What is the name of this liquid? It's called semen. And the other one, medi. Medi, this comes, uh, this is prostatic secretion. This comes if the, the man, for example, if he hugs his wife, if he kisses his wife, the medi comes. And subhanAllah, usually the person at the beginning doesn't feel the medi. But when he check himself in the toilet, he will find the drops of medi. Okay? The medi will not invalidate your day if you are fasting. Okay? He, this will not invalidate your day. And also no need for ghusl, no need for taking shower. But you need to clean, to wash your private parts, and you need to make wudu if you are going to pray. You are not junub. And the third one called wadi. Wow. Wadi, they say this is a, a, a secretion comes with the urine. Or sorry, after urine. Usually they say this comes if the weather is too cold. Or if you carry something very heavy, this comes with the urine. Okay? And this is like urine. It is najis. It is impure. Okay? You deal with it like the, like the urine. Okay, so the scholars in this chapter, they talk about the medi. The, the liquid, the prostatic secretion comes when you hug your wife, when you, subhanAllah, some people very, very sensitive. When they talk with their wife, subhanAllah, the, 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 the medi comes. So the fasting is not, uh, sorry, is valid. Is valid. Your day is valid. And no need to take shower. You need to clean your private, you, to wash by water your private part, the, I mean the, the penis and the testicles, the testes. Okay, as uh, Sheikh Mbaz Rahimullah mentioned, that there is hadith, يَقْسِلْ uh, The man should wash the penis and the testes. Okay, and you spray, sprinkle water on your clothes. طيب. So this will not invalidate your fasting, this will not invalidate your fasting. Uh, about subhanallah, the, uh, the, the semen masturbation, I remember uh, subhanallah one year, because I'm working in the lab, and there is semen ana analysis to check the sperms, the activity of the sperms, and the, the number. So a man came for this test in Ramadan. So we told him, we don't do this test in Ramadan. He said, no, I want to check the semen. Habibi, it's haram. Yani. <laughs> No, I want to do this. So one of our colleagues said, okay, uh, in that specific day, I have a night of duty. So come at night to bring your semen. Said, no, I want to do it now, <laughs> during the day of Ramadan. Of course, this is haram. Okay, this is haram, according to the majority of scholars. Well, it's strange, people strange, subhanAllah. Uh, number four, vomiting. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you vomit intentionally, then your day is invalid. And, uh, 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 and you have to make up this day. But if vomiting came to you, attacked you, no need to do qada. 
no need to make up your day is valid how yani for example um, uh, you ate a lot of food before fajr salah fajr adhan because subhanallah many muslims now they, they think that fasting is punishment so eat as much as you can biryani gulab jamun machbus laham tashri everything Pakistani food, Indian food, American food, Kuwaiti food, everything. Yalla, fill your stomach. <laughs> yani. These brothers, sisters, fasting Ramadan is not punishment. It's, it is a worship. As we mentioned at the beginning, it is a worship. Okay? So you ate a lot of things. Now the Adhan started, you stop. You close your mouth. You went to the Salah. In the Salah, you started vomiting. Why? Because your stomach is full. So now, what, what about this day? Yes, this is valid. If you can, continue fast. Continue fasting. But please, don't do it again tomorrow. يعني, يعني the Prophet said, a good suhoor for you is dates. Eat maybe five, six, seven pieces of dates. Not necessary odd number. You can eat ten, for example, or four. It's okay. خلاص, that's it. Alhamdulillah, we'll drink some water, lemon. That's it. Okay? But if you, for example, you ate a lot, as I mentioned, you ate everything. Now you are in the masjid waiting for Fajr Salah and you feel very bad, upset, stomach upset. Then you put your finger, why? Because you want to empty your stomach. Now you put your finger and you started vomiting. So now you vomited because, because of you, your, because of intentionally you, you did this. Now you are happy and you feel okay after vomiting. Now, what about your fasting day? You said no, this is invalid day. Why? Because you intentionally vomited. And we tell you to make up this day after Eid. Okay, clear, shall I? Number five, the menstrual period for the ladies. If the period started during the day of Ramadan, then the day is invalid. Okay, if the sister said, Sheikh, the Adhan is 6.30. The blood came 6.25. Five minutes before Adhan. I was fasting 15 hours. And only five minutes before the Maghrib Adhan, we say sorry. The day is invalid. Okay, but Allah, inshallah, will give you the reward. Allah will give you the reward. The reward of what? For fasting these 15 hours. And also Allah will give you the reward because you will fast after, after Eid. And also, inshallah, Allah will give you the reward because you are following the orders of Allah. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Alhamdulillah, you are following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so Allah will give you the reward. Tayyib. If the woman becomes clean, I mean, I mean, if the, the, the blood stops five minutes before Fajr, and now she said, well, I, I don't know what to do. Should I take shower? Should I take my suhoor? What can I do? We tell her, okay, take your suhoor, eat some dates, in these five minutes, drink water. She said, but if I eat, the adhan will come. I said, no problem. Let the muaddin give the adhan. No problem. You can't take shower after adhan. Is it possible? Is it allowed? Yes. So which, which should be before? She should take the suhoor, then the shower, the ghusl. Okay? So... For those sisters who become uh, pure before Adhan, in a few minutes, or uh, uh, one minute, خلاص. you have to fast. You have to fast. Wallah, I did not take shower. Okay, take shower after Adhan to pray. No problem. And the same thing, if you wake up after Adhan, for example, the Adhan is 3, uh, 3.40. So you wake up 4 a.m. Then you saw the wet dreams. Janaba. Can I fast? Yes, you have to fast. 
But I wake up without shower. Of course, without shower. You have to wake, uh, take shower and pray, and you fast this day. Okay? طيب. Uh, next point, الحجامة, cupping. طيب. Uh, according, uh, about this point, there are different hadith. There is hadith the Prophet وسلم, said, أفطر الحاجم والمحجوم. The one who is doing the hijama and the one who the hijama is done for him, both of them are breaking their fast. And we have another hadith, this hadith in Sunan Abi Dawood. We have hadith Bukhari that the Prophet وسلم, did hijama while fasting in Ramadan or while fasting. طيب. So what is the ruling? They said, a majority of scholars said, the fasting is valid. You can't do hijama if you are fasting. Okay, what about the hadith after al hajj al-mahjum? They said it means that if you do the hijama, this will lead to weakness. Okay, and also in the past, and still some people nowadays, when they do hijama, how they do hijama? They suck the blood, they put holes, then they suck the blood by their mouth. Okay? And of course, some of them by using manual pump. Okay, for those who are using the, 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 their mouth, sucking by hose, so there is possibility the blood will come inside. So they are at risk. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi as if say, saying, those who are doing hijama and the hijama are, are done, is done for them, they are at risk. The one who's doing, he's sucking, so there is risk that he will take some blood. And for the one who's done, the hijab is done for him, there is the risk that weakness. So he will be weak, then he needs to drink water or juice. Okay, but if the person who's sucking the, uh, the, the, the blood, he's not, or he's doing by the bump, then his hijab is okay. Sorry, his fasting day is okay. And if I'm doing the hijab for myself, someone is doing the hijab for me, and I am healthy, I am strong, I am not feeling any, any weakness, خلاص, continue your hijab. Sorry, continue your day, and no problem. طيب. And the same thing, if we we'll say, uh, well, I have a blood test in the middle of Ramadan. I want to do CBC and biochemistry, or they want to check the thyroid, the gland uh, level. Okay, it's okay. If they take blood, this will not invalidate your, uh, your fasting. Okay, what, what about blood donation? Okay, blood donation is يعني, relatively difficult. Why? Because they take a lot of blood, not like cupping. Usually cupping, the, the blood is coming maybe 50 uh, ml, 40 ml, 60 ml, but blood donation, they are taking a lot of blood relatively. Maybe 500 ml, 400 ml, okay? Uh, and usually, subhanAllah, people who, do the, uh, who donate the blood, they feel bad. That's why they prepare juice for you. So, how many people did blood donation? Yes, you feel bad or you feel يعني, tiredness, dizziness, okay? So blood donation is difficult. So we'll tell you, if there is no necessity, so don't do it in Ramadan. Or do it at night. If, if it is possible, do it at night. But sometimes it is urgent. If it is urgent, okay, خلاص, do it. And if you need to drink, drink water or drink juice. Break your fast, okay? How it, it becomes uh, urgent, uh, this is for, subhanAllah, for the rare blood groups, O negative, or uh, subhanAllah, the, very, the rare group is uh, AB negative, AB negative, <laughs> difficult, okay, يعني, subhanAllah, if, if the patient is a, AB negative, also it is difficult to get the same group, okay, and if your group is AB negative, خلاص, the central blood bank will register your name. And they will call you for any emergency. Ta'al, come. Okay, it is Ramadan. Wallahi, khalas. We have only in the list five, six people. We are calling all of you. Yalla, come to, to donate. So if it is necessity, go and donate your blood. If you feel that I am very tired, break your fast. And make up this day later, inshallah. So this is about the hijama. Sheikh, uh, I think we mentioned that about these things, eating, drinking, the intercourse, sexual intercourse with the wife, 
there are conditions to say these things will invalidate your fasting. Number one, ilm. That you know that this is one of the invalidators. Okay, maybe the new Muslim doesn't know that the intercourse with the wife will, uh, will, will break his fast. He knows that eating and drinking, but he doesn't know about this. Okay, so number one, knowledge. I know this is one of the haram things in Ramadan. Number two, a dhikr that I remember. Maybe uh, I know it is haram, but I forgot. Then I ate something. طيب. Number three, al-qasd, the intention. Why you are eating? Allah, he forced me to eat. Yani, for example, for example, uh, your daughter, or there is a girl, she's a pubert, 14 years old. But her father forced her to eat. You have to eat, you have an exam tomorrow. Or you have an exam today. So you have to drink your, your tea, you have to drink a coffee. And he started to beat his daughter. Okay? So now, because of force, she, she was forced to drink coffee. Okay? Can she continue fasting? Yes, she can. Why? Because she was forced to drink. She was forced to eat. She cannot beat her, her father. She is 14 years old. Okay, and she, she, she believes that I, I, I am pubic and I have to fast. Uh, so, of course, she has to advise the father. But, you know, it's, it's difficult for the, the daughter. Subhanallah. Okay, so these are the conditions to say, well, this will invalidate your fasting. Now, I will mention uh, quickly, inshallah, some points the, the scholars mentioned that the, the, the new things will invalidate the fasting or not. Uh, what uh, Sheikh Mu'taymin mentioned that tahamil, the medicine given by the uh, suppositories, by the anal opening from, from the back, he said this will not invalidate. This will not invalidate. Right? Sheikh Mu'taymin, rahimahullah, and also the fatwa from Minister of Awqaf here in Kuwait, okay, and some, uh, some scholars, they said any kind of injection will not invalidate your fasting. Okay, the, even the drip, the, uh, the normal saline will not invalidate. Okay, uh, uh, for Sheikh Mu'atameen, the, the common fatwa, this will invalidate your fasting. But later at the end of his life, before his death, I think in one year or three years, he changed his fatwa. He said the, the dextrose, the IV dextrose will not invalidate your fasting. Why? He said, because what is, uh, what is the, the he, he, he said, we don't have a, a proof from the Quran or Sunnah that this injection will, will invalidate or, or will, in, will invalidate your fasting, okay? But many scholars said, it is like the food. The IV line, the drip, the normal saline, the dextrose, they said, this is like the food. He said, the, the food, subhanAllah, why we are eating to live, huh? But sometimes we eat to enjoy the food, صح? Sometimes we eat to enjoy the food. I like to, to taste this food, the, the ice cream, the, okay, these kinds of food. He said, and this is a fact, this is a fact. Visit any person who is in the hospital, okay? They put in o P, non per oral. Did you see this? Okay, for some patients, they put uh, paper, A4, in non P, O. Non per, non per oral. Yeah, nothing allowed per oral. Everything should be IV, intravenous. Okay, maybe for two, three days. So ask this person. And I remember one of my friends, I visited him in the hospital. He was, uh, you, uh, they were using the IV. So I asked him, yani, do you feel that you like to eat? He said, yes, I like to eat. Yani, I, have, I, have the, I have the desire of eating. He, he did not die. He did not die. Okay, why? Because there is food through the line, through the veins. 
but there is the desire of food. So Sheikh B'Athamin said, this food which is coming through the line, through the vein, will not stop his desire. Yes, it will keep him alive, but it will not stop the desire. So we cannot say the drip is like the food. So he said, taking the drip will not invalidate. You got the point? Okay. So this is his uh, position, Sheikh Ben Thameen and also uh, the fatwa of Mr. Fawqaf, that this drip will not invalidate. Why? Because it is not food. It is not food through your mouth or your nose. The food through your mouth or your nose, this will invalidate. Uh, okay. Eye drops, ear drops also, it's okay to use them during the day of Ramadan. They will not invalidate. He said, okay. Sometimes you put something in your ear, drop, ear drops or eye drops, and you feel something in the throat. صح? He said, this is okay. This will not invalidate. This will not invalidate your fasting. But the, the nose drops, different. Why? Because there is a hadith. The Prophet ﷺ told one of the companions, Laqit ibn Sabura. One of the companions, his name is Laqit ibn Sabura. بالغ في الاستنشاق إلا أن تكون صائما يعني when you are making wudu sniff the waters vigorously strongly except if you are fasting it means that the nose is like the mouth why? because subhanallah yes they are separate openings but they have the same vibe يعني both of them can lead to the stomach okay so the nose drops different than the eye and ears. Okay, what about the Ventolin? Ventolin, he said, this will not invalidate your fasting, the Ventolin. Okay, but the nobilizer is different. Why? Because the nobilizer, yeah, subhanAllah, Ventolin, when you push, when you press, you take the one buff, two buffs, okay, subhanAllah, it will go to the lungs. But the nobilizer, okay, come on, nobilizer, you put normal saline 2 ml and you put medicine half ml, okay, and you see the smoke, the vapor, okay, so this is different. So to be safe, to be safe, try to avoid this if you are fasting. And if you take it, make up the days after Ramadan, to be safe, right? Why? Because it is different, it is totally different. You put the mask and you see the smoke going inside. Are you? Uh, what about Bukhur? Bukhur, like what the Sheikh is putting for us, you know, the, what do you call Bukhur? Oud. Incense. Huh? Incense. Incense? Okay. This Bukhur, okay, it's okay. For example, if you are fasting and there's Bukhur in the masjid, the smoke of the Bukhur in the masjid, it's okay. But Sheikh Muhammad said, don't breathe. Yani, you know, some Kuwaitis, because of the Qutra, we put the mubkhar, okay? Can you please bring the mubkhar for the ladies to see? It is at the back, behind this chair. Okay? Okay, they say, uh, Sheikh Muhtami said, don't breathe it. Why? Because the smoke will go inside to your stomach. So uh, uh, the opinion of Sheikh Muhtami said, this will invalidate your fasting. Okay? For the sisters and also for those, this is called bukhur. This is, in Kuwait, we call it Bukhur. So, to keep the Bukhur in the masjid or at home, it's okay. But he said, if the, the Bukhur is, is uh, smoking, okay, and you, can you see the smoke? So now, if I cover, if I cover and I put my nose like this, then my fasting is invalid. My fasting is invalid. Okay, and also, this is dangerous. Okay, it is dangerous to, to, to breathe the, the smoke directly and very close. Right? I'm showing this only to, to, <laughs> to explain for you, but this is dangerous. My brother, okay, uh, he, maybe this is before 30 years or something like this. He went to the doctor and they did x-ray for him. At that time, he was Imam Masjid, alhamdulillah. Yani. So the doctor wondered, he asked me, are you a smoker? 
He said, no, I'm not smoking. But because he was do, using the bukhur, a lot of bukhur, so subhanAllah, his lungs was showing as if he is a smoker. Yes, yani, the smoke is dangerous. The good smell or bad smell. So if you want to use the bukhur, keep it yani, away from you or don't breathe it directly. So Sheikh Bratimi said, breathing the smoke directly, this will invalidate your fasting and also smoking cigarettes. The same thing, smoking cigarettes also. <coughs> yes? Hmm? Sheikh Bratimi said, because it, it, it has material going to the stomach. And you see something and there is something. It is not in the, in the air, open air. You are taking this, huh? this is smoke directly. Physically different. Yes, physically. physically. This is the next point. Okay. The siwak, is it allowed to use the siwak? Okay, yes, using the siwak is allowed. Okay, the siwak is allowed. Tayyib, uh, there is hadith that not to use the siwak after duhur. Okay, but it is not authentic hadith. It is not authentic hadith, so you can use the siwak. But there are some kinds of siwak with flavors. Sah? Did you see some siwak? Lemon flavor, okay? Uh, so avoid this siwak, this kind. Use the normal siwak. Why? You want to use it for, the, for Ramadan? No, no. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So uh, the flavors, uh, avoid the flavors. Avoid the flavors. طيب? Okay, what about the brush teeth? Okay. Sheikh Fatimi said, yani, yeah, some scholars said this is Why? Because the toothpaste has very strong smell and very strong taste. So it's better to avoid. It's better to avoid. But if you use it, after Fajr, it's okay, but try to avoid swallowing anything. And put small amount and quickly. Clean your teeth and re, uh, uh, yani spit the, 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 the base. The base, okay? Why? Because it has very strong taste. Can I go to the dentist? Yes. To, to, uh, yani, to treat your teeth, but to try also to avoid uh, swallowing. And yani, usually they, they use the suck, the sucker. They, they, they suck the, the saliva, uh, sorry. Yani the, 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 the base they put, or if there is water, they suck it. Are you? Yes. What about the green toothpaste that they have out now? The seawalk toothpaste. See? The seawalk sea sea toothpaste. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like the mist box. Okay. They have the toothpaste. Like okay, it's okay to use it. With the flavor or without flavor? Okay, with, if it is without flavor, okay, there is uh, toothpaste. I saw it, I think 3KD for one, okay. Uh, it is siwak, but at the shape of toothpaste, uh, toothbrush. Okay, use it, no problem. Use it, inshallah. Tayyib. Is it allowed to take shower or to swim or to dive? If I am fasting, yes, this is allowed. Yes, this is allowed. Okay. Can I apply some creams and this medicine oil, ointment? Yes, this is allowed. So swimming is allowed? Yes. Oh, okay. When I swim, something goes inside. Okay. Intentionally or without intention? Without intention is okay. But if you intend to drink water, then it is haram. If I intend taking shower to drink water, of course, it is haram, and your fasting day is invalid. But is it not uh, better to avoid? No, we cannot say it is not, we cannot say it is better to avoid. Yani, taking shower is, okay, Jum'ah day. I, I know, I know, because also the same thing, taking shower, okay, you will be inside the water. Okay? It's okay. If you feel bad, don't dive during the day of Ramadan. But the swimming, diving, it's okay. It's okay. Huh? Okay, then. 
Chapstick like or something. Okay, yeah, and you, you, you mean you, be, you, you put something moisturizing your lips? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. But again, uh, avoid the flavors. You put something without flavor and also don't eat it. Don't eat it. Okay? Yes, you have to, to avoid. But it's okay to ab apply something on your uh, skin, your, your lips. Your lips, okay? But avoid uh, eating it. Uh, yes, there is, there is something uh, about uh, some, something called imsakiya. In the calendar, the times of salah, there is a special calendar for Ramadan. One column for Fajr and one column before Fajr. 10 minutes before Fajr. They say this is called imsakiya. You have to stop eating and drinking before Fajr. Why? To be safe. This is bid'ah, this is innovation. This is haram. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَى مِنَ الْخَيْطُ الْأَسْوَلُ الْفَجْرِ Eat and drink until Fajr. No, these people said no. Eat and drink 10 minutes before Fajr. And also some people, they give adhan before the time. This is haram. This is not allowed. You have to give the adhan on time. The adhan on time. It should not be before the, the, the adhan. Okay? So, this is bid'ah. This is innovation to tell people to stop eating and drinking before adhan. On time. Tayyip. What about if I am eating and drinking at the, uh, uh, then the adhan started. I am drinking my water. I am eating my suhoor. Then the muaddin started. There is hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If you hear one of you the nida and the inaa on your hand, do not touch it until he has what he If the one is eating, uh, is drinking, and the cup with him, then he hears the adhan. So don't leave your cup until you, fi you finish your need. This is in Sunan Abi Dawood. Some scholars say this is an exception. What do they mean? They mean mainly we have to stop eating and drinking at the time of Adhan. We, we can't eat and drink until the Adhan. But this is an exception. I am eating and drinking, then I hear the Adhan. Then we tell you, you can't continue what you have. Then stop. For example, I'm drinking the water. So finish your water. How long this will take? It will take half a minute. Okay? Or for example, I'm eating a sandwich. So maybe you need two minutes. Plus, finish what you have. Then stop eating and drinking. Of course, if you notice the hadith, the hadith doesn't mean intentionally I wait until I, 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 I wait half a minute before the adhan, then I start my meal. No, the hadith doesn't mean this. And this can happen maybe once. Maybe once a month in this Ramadan on, or once in your life. Not every Ramadan and every day. Every day I eat my meal before, before the Adhan, one minute. Okay? No, prepare yourself. Take your suhoor before a good time. Okay? Take your meal before a good time. Khalas, my meal should be before 15 minutes. Khalas, five minutes before the Adhan, I finish. To be safe. Why every day I eat before Adhan one minute? And also, you should respect the other opinion. Uh, many scholars, maybe most of the scholars said, no. If you hear the Adhan, stop and spit what is in your mouth. Many scholars said this. Okay, so if you are in a gathering, yeah, for example, you are in the masjid at the time of uh, Fajr Adhan. So don't drink the water in front of people. Okay, why? Because people will accuse you, you are, you are not fasting Ramadan. No, Allah, I am following the opinion which says it is allowed. Yani, please, brothers, sisters, you should be wise. Yes, there are certain issues, there are different opinions, but you have to respect people. Okay? Especially if there is a strong opinion. So, if you believe in this opinion, and you are at home, and this happens maybe once a month, خلاص, continue. Finish your, finish your meal. Finish your meal. طيب.
طيب يس اوكي يس فالد بيبول ايت 12 o'clock midnight then they sleep and they wake up for fajr the fasting is valid yes okay طيب so uh, how many minutes we have until isha 13 13 13 طيب اوكي اي نيد تو اي شود جيف ميبي ا فيو مينتس فور ذا كويستشنز اف يو هاف كويكلي وات ار ذا مينرز اوف ذا ذا بيرسون هو از فاستنج نمبر 1 تيك بريك يور فاست از سون از بوسيبل نمبر 1 ذا بروفيسور صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد لا زال الناس بخير مع عجل الفطر يو ار ان ا جود سيتويشن اف يو تيك اف يو بريك يور فاست immediately it means when when i hear the adhan bismillah and eat okay don't say wallahi no 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 i will break my fast after maghrib adhan no this is not sunnah the sunnah you do it immediately immediately this is the sunnah okay and also the sunnah the prophet sallallahu used to break his fast with rutabat yani rutab no this is this is a date تمر رطب the soft one with the full with water full with water رطب هذا رطب the fresh dates yes which is brown light brown soft this is the it is brown the yellow is called خلال you mean the tough no not the tough the tough is called خلال or بلح fresh but full ripe one ripe Yes. Not the dry. The dry is called tamar. Khaliji with tamar to show the, the, the people. When tamar? It was here. So the sunnah, okay, the Prophet used to break his fast with rutabat. What does it mean rutabat? Yeah, any few. Should I eat odd number? Some people think that I should eat three, five, seven. No, it is not a sunnah. It is not sunnah. You can eat two, four, six, no problem. طيب. شو؟ زاك الخير. This is called dates. Tamar. Tamar, okay? Which is, يعني, uh, the dry one. The dry one, tamar. Okay. <laughs> you are eating and not eating. <laughs> This is the second option. The first option, rutab. بس جزاك الله خير. The first option رطب. The second تمر. The third water. ماء. طيب. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to eat رطب. Then he goes to pray. So We recommend in Ramadan, or if you are fasting Ramadan or other than Ramadan, okay, keep with you, you and your family or in the masjid, dates and water, or only dates, or only rutab, and eat few rutab, then pray. After prayer, if you like to eat, eat. Okay, the problem now, many people, they put everything. Everything. Okay, and no need to explain, because you know. And they eat. And you feel they are fighting. <laughs> People fighting after Maghrib and also fighting before Fajr. We are doing jihad. Our jihad is to eat. Jihad in the Jam'iyyah. Lulu Hyber and City Center. When we are eating, subhanAllah, for the suhoor, for subhanAllah. We are fighting only for food. Allah Musta'an. So this is the Sunnah. Okay, not to fight. The Sunnah, you eat little. <laughs> And about the suhoor, it is sunnah to delay the suhoor. Because, okay, what is the meaning of suhoor? Suhoor, it is the, the pre-dawn meal. The word suhoor, it, the origin of the word suhoor is from a sahar. Okay, what is the meaning of sahar? A sahar is the last part of night. Allah says, وَبِلْ أَسْحَارِهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ One of the criteria of the believers, they ask forgiveness at the sahar time. 
before Fajr. Okay? So if you want to take suhoor, try to delay. Okay, about the, the question from the brother, some people, they take the meal midnight. Then they sleep, then they wake up for Fajr. Okay, we tell them, okay, take your meal midnight. But before Fajr, wake up before Fajr five minutes to drink water. Only to drink water or eat one piece of date. Khalas, we consider you as suhoor. As the Prophet said, walaw bijur'ati ma. Take your suhoor, even one sip of water. This is enough, okay? To take the reward of suhoor. To take the reward of suhoor. Tayyib, yani alhamdulillah, inshallah, I covered almost the main things. You know, there are some manners of the fasting, okay? As I mentioned, the suhoor, the, the iftar, tayyib, and re of course, reading the Quran, and, and also to control your yourself, not to uh, react if someone abused you. Okay, there are manners of Sa'im. Okay, you can read them or you know, the lectures and inshallah, there will be some khutbah and some lectures on YouTube. But inshallah, mainly I covered the rules. Okay, the haram and halal. And Zakum uh, khair again, Zahallah khair, the Imam of the Masjid, Sheikh Abdul Muhsin Rifai, gave us this chance. And inshallah, we like to have more lectures in this masjid. Inshallah, maybe we do one course for the Hajj or other uh, topics, what you suggest. And also, Zahmullah Khair, the sisters who attend with us. Uh, so now, if you have, I think we have seven minutes. If you have questions, okay, we have time. Uh. Again, the same, the same. From the sisters? Okay, we mentioned that fidya only one time. One time. Okay, maybe the, the, the brothers explained to me, they think, okay, yes, good, you, you brought this issue again. Some, you, you told me, I think you told me, people think that when I give fidya, that it means that he is fasting for me. No, it doesn't mean that. For example, if I am sick, I have a chronic disease. Okay, so now I cannot fast, so I have to feed 30 poor people. Okay, when I go to the poor people and I give them food, it doesn't mean that they are fasting on my behalf. No. I am feeding them because I am not fasting. And they are fasting for themselves. Okay? So, how many poor people should I feed? Like the days that I miss. So, I did not fast the full Ramadan, 30 days, خلاص, I have to feed 30 people. Not 60. 60 people for different issues. Okay, like, the, uh, sorry, like the, the example you mentioned, if the man uh, did intercourse, sexual intercourse with his wife and he cannot fast uh, two months, we tell him to feed 60 people, yes? One meal. One meal, yes, one meal. Dinner or lunch? Yes. You see the sun? Sun is still not above the sun, I can see still from the sixth floor. Change your office to the ground floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that because from the ground floor, obviously we can see the sun. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> break the fast. Break the fast, then. Maybe half a minute or one minute. Wait, wait half a minute. <laughs> I think this is the same like aeroplane. Aeroplane. Yes. So yes. You yes, if you, see, if you see the sun, don't break your fast. If you see, if you see, don't break your fast. To be safe, yeah, to be safe. Any question from the sisters? Huh? Okay. Okay, for running nose, can I use inhaler? If this medicine goes inside, you have to avoid. But for example, if it is local, يعني, if I put one drop, very superficial, Okay, then it is okay. If you are sure, inshallah, it will not go inside. Okay, but usually, psh, it will go inside. I have a question. Uh, sometimes after uh, suhoor, I will have some difficult food in my mouth after that. Mm. Can I swallow that food or I have to take it out? Okay, I, uh, after I finish the suhoor, there is something in between my tongues, uh, sorry, my, my, my teeth. Okay. After Fajr Adhan, can I swallow this food? Intentionally, don't swallow. You have to throw. 
because you are fasting. But subhanAllah, sometimes the food goes inside. I cannot control this, then it is okay. But intentionally, you have to throw it. Okay. Anything? Khalas? Don't think about questions. If you have a question, you ask. If you don't, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Tayyib. Uh, I, I have a number. We have the, uh, the, I have the Instagram, the English account. And uh, my, my Jum'ah khutbah today, it is in the Arabic account. By mistake, I, upload, uh, I, I, I film my uh, khutbah in the Arabic account. So please, if you like to see, my, to watch my uh, uh, English khutbah, it is in the Arabic account. Ahmed al-Rumh. Okay, today I spoke about the virtues of Ramadan. And another thing for the questions, okay, you, uh, I have the n new number, 559409999. For the questions, please send written question or voice. 559409999. Please send only a written question or a voice. A H M A D A L R O M H one nine seven eight. Okay, so please, uh, please don't call the, the 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 number. Send message, and, and inshallah, if I know the answer, I will answer you. Inshallah. Are you? Huh? What's up? What's up? Or SMS? Okay, SMS. It's okay. Or also, you can send the question through the the Instagram. Jazakumullahu khayran. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless the Imam of the Masjid. And may Allah bless the sisters also. And may Allah help us to fast Ramadan, to pray Qiyam, to uh, make it easy for us and accepted. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save and uh, protect the Muslims everywhere in this country and all the countries. Jazakumullahu khayr. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amen.